Hi guys, welcome to Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking with Felicia, where I believe that cooking should be simple, it should be easy, and it definitely should be fun. Thank you for tuning in today. Today we are cooking shrimp fettuccine. Yes, I said it, shrimp fettuccine. If you have never had it, you need to try it, and you will always try it once you had it. Well, I'm ready to get started. Well, the first thing we need to do is wash our hands, for we know the importance of washing our hands because we don't want to pass no germs to no one else, and we definitely don't want to pass it to ourselves. After that, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you once again for all your mercy and grace, and we thank you for all this beautiful food that you left on this earth for your people. We ask you to sanctify it, purify it for the nutrition of our body. We ask you to bless this meal that we are making today. Day. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Well, guys, we got to get started. Well, you want to make sure you go to your local grocery store. And if you don't know what fettuccine look like, it looks like this. It kind of looked like um, spaghetti uh, pasta, but only thing is, it's splatter. After that, um, you have to have your shrimps. I have about 16 shrimps, and we want to get them um, started in our pan so let's kind of get some let's get our oil on our pan and once again i am using grapeseed oil we want to get our pan nice and hot so we can add our shrimp now i'm just going to add a little garlic um to our pan just a little bit because we're going to be adding garlic um, to our pasta, to our alfredo sauce. So I'm just adding um, a little garlic to that. We want to make sure our pan is covered good with that oil. Okay. I'm using grapeseed oil. You need about a tablespoon, about two tablespoons. Got my shrimp. Make sure they're nice and dry. We're going to add them in here. I still see some water, so you want to be careful. Pat them dry. Now these shrimps have been deveined, and they also, the tail has been tucked off. And so you want to make sure that you um, that they're deveined and that the tail is tucked off. Because we are putting this in our pasta, okay? I had a lot of water in this bowl that I didn't recognize. I wanted to get in my um, skillet here. So we're going to get these nice and pink. When they're nice and pink on both sides, we're going to remove them out of the skillet so we can start on our sauce. Okay? So we're going to get these nice and pink. Okay, guys. So you also going to need some heavy whipped cream. So you want to make sure you have that in your pantry. Usually I have everything um, that is needed for this recipe in my pantry. But a lot of times, the only thing I need to go out and get is probably some shrimp and um, heavy cream if I don't have it. I'm starting to learn to keep bags of shrimps inside my freezer. Because I love seafood, guys. Now, you could get your shrimps any size that you want. This is more on a swallow. Because you know shrimps, they shrink up. They look big in a bag. But once you get them in that skillet, I just got the smaller kind. But you could get whatever kind you like. Okay, we're going to let that sit out there. So guys, when we come back, this should be done. We should be able to remove this from um, our pan, and we should be able to get ready to start our sauce. I'll see you in three and three. Okay, guys, we are back, and the shrimps are done. And so what we're going to do is we're going to remove this from the eye, and all that juice that may be in there and that garlic, you want to pour it in whatever container you're going to have your shrimps in. Ooh. 
one fell overboard. We don't want that juice to be in there when we make our sauce. So you want to make sure you pour all that out. Okay, with that same pan, and it's okay if you got um, garlic sauce in there, I me mean garlic, um, Miss Garlic in there. With that same pan, we're going to get a half a cup of butter. A half a cup of butter is a stick of butter. We want to get that going. And I have some right here. You want to get that going in your pan. We're going to let that melt down. Once that melt down, we are going to add in our heavy whipped cream. See, it's melting quick because this pan is already hot. So you can use your same pan. We're going to let this melt down. Okay, as this is melting down, I want to show you what heavy whipped cream may look like in your grocery store if you have never had heavy whipped cream before. It looks something like this, and it's just a heavy whipped cream on there. You're going to need a cup of half, a cup and a half of that. I'm showing you now how to make your Alfredo sauce. Now, you know, I want this to be easy for you. I don't want this to be something that's hard for you. That's why I call the show Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking. So for the ones who may don't want to do all that, you know you could go to your local grocery store and they already have some home style Alfredo sauce if you want to purchase that. And you could do it that way too. But I love showing people how a lot of stuff is already in their pantry. And they'd be surprised. I had that in my pantry. Oh, I could have used that for that. I didn't know that. I used to be one of them. Okay. So, we don't want this to boil. Right now it's starting to boil. So, what I'm going to do is cut this down. Because what we wanted it to do, we want it to simmer we don't want it, we, we don't want it to boil. So I'm going to take this off for a minute. Cool it down. Okay. Because we want to cool it down. So I'm going to add in. I'm going to add in. I'll put it over here. I'm going to add in our one cup first. This is our heavy whip, and you want to whisk it in. Okay. After you add in that one cup, then you want to add in your half a cup. Okay. And you want to whisk that. You want to just whisk it. Then after that, you want to add in your seasoning. And so we're going to be using, once you let that um, simmer a little bit, we're going to be using um, one and a half, uh, we're going to be using one and a half teaspoon of our Italian seasoning. Okay. We're also going to be using one and a half teaspoon of minced garlic. But you can add more. I love garlic, so this is a little more than a half a teaspoon for me because I love garlic. So you want to do that. And guys, don't forget that once you follow the directions to get your, um, the first thing you need to do is when you, when once you get all your ingredients from the grocery store, notice how this looked like a whole bunch of butter. And now it's starting to look the way we want it to look. That white creamy look is starting to turn into our Alfredo sauce that we're looking for. When you get your um, pasta home, um, 
The first thing you want to do is get your shrimps thawed, thawed out um, and make sure they don't have no tail on there. Then get a big pot of water, um, follow the direction on the back of the fettuccine and um, box and boil. I put salt in my water to make sure the pasta don't stick. You add your pasta to that boiling water and then you will, um, after you do that, you will um, make sure you drain it real good. After you drain it, your pasta is going to look dry, like it needs something to touch it. I just lightly put some um, of grapeseed olive oil over it. You don't have to do that, but I did that so when I get ready to put it in here, it won't be so stiff. After you get this to a nice um, simmer, you want to add your Parmesan cheese. You need about two cups of Parmesan cheese. Now you could shred it yourself, or you could just go to your grocery, uh, local store, your grocery local store, um, and find it already like that. We're gonna pour that in here. Okay. You're gonna need about two cups of it, and all we gonna do is let that melt. Once this melt, all we do is add the pasta, and then we're gonna add the shrimp back to this, guys. And we will be ready to eat. So I'll be back and we're going to put it all together. Hi guys, we back and our Alfredo sauce is looking good. The cheese have melted. Now what we want to do is, um, remember we added our minced garlic and we also added our Italian season. You want to make sure you add your salt and pepper. And you just put how much, you know, A little pinch of dew. All right. I'm going to add that to it. And I, recommend, I uh, recommend you tasting it. Remember, so you can know if you like it or not. If you feel you need some more salt. Be careful because this cheese is very hot. Mm, perfect. So now we're going to add our pasta. My pasta was cooked. We're going to add it. Look at this, guys. Doesn't that look good? Okay. in here and believe me you have more than enough and I only use guys one box this is one box of pasta and I still have some in here so that was more than enough sauce that I made. Okay. I'm not going to put the rest of the pasta in here, but I still have a lot. What we're going to do is we're going to add our shrimps back in here. Okay. Then guys, when we come back, I'm going to top this off with parsley and we'll be ready to eat. Be back in three and three. Okay, guys, I incorporate everything together. We're going to hit it with some parsley. Doesn't that look beautiful? And we're ready to plate up. So let me push this back a little bit. Get my plate. And let me add some of this. Don't that look good, guys? I gotta make sure I get me some shrimp in there. Okay, guys, this is what we have. 
Let me push this back a little bit more. Okay. This is what we have. Don't that look good? Okay. Let me grab my drink. Today I'm just having cold water, guys. Cold water. Okay, let us try. And make sure, if you don't want it to be really salty, that you watch um, how much salt you put in there. If you're gonna use salted butter, you probably don't need to be adding salt. Mm, mm, mm. Shrimp. Guys, this is good. Thank you for tuning in once again to another episode of Simple, Easy, and Fun Cooking.